What you bring to this ceremony and what you leave with are two very different things. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, Jesus commented on marriage with these words. At the beginning, the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two of them will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Then he said, Therefore what God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Vera, AJ, you love each other, and it is because of your love that you have chosen each other. But the one who establishes your marriage is none other than God. Marriage is more, much more, than your love for each other. It has a higher dignity, a higher power, and a higher purpose, for it is a holy estate. It is a divine ordinance. Through marriage, for example, God wills to perpetuate the human race until the end of time. Through marriage, God creates the analogy of Christ's relationship to his people, the church. It is not the will to rule that makes a king. To be a king requires a crown. In the same way, it is not your love for each other, but marriage that joins you together in the sight of God and humanity. For all of your love for each other, this is something not created by you. It is given by God. In a wedding ceremony he wrote for his sister and his brother-in-law-to-be, the great Dietrich Bonhoeffer said, As high as God is above man, so high are the sanctity, the rights, and the promise of marriage above the sanctity, the rights, and the promise of love. It is not your love that sustains the marriage, but from now on, it is the marriage that sustains your love. God alone establishes your marriage this day, and God alone is the one who makes your marriage indissoluble. How does God make marriage indissoluble? The Lord God makes marriage indissoluble by establishing the foundation of marriage by Christ himself. In Romans chapter 15, verse 7, the Apostle Paul writes to a church, a congregation of Christians, with these words, Accept one another, just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. With those words, the Apostle Paul reminded us that without mutual acceptance, without mutual kindness, forgiveness, and tenderness, no human fellowship, least of all marriage, can survive. And therefore, by the authority of God in Christ, I tell you that from this day forward, you must not insist upon your own rights. Do not blame each other. Do not condemn each other. Do not judge each other. Don't fault find fault. Instead, love each other. Be patient. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be true. Accept one another. Trust each other. Forgive each other. Always from the bottom of your whole heart. That is God's word for your marriage. AJ, do you take Lyra to be your wedded wife, to live with her and to love her in the beauty of marriage for as long as you both shall live? I do. Lyra, do you take AJ to be your husband, to live with him and to love him in the beauty of marriage for as long as you both shall live? And now you may recite your, to one another your vows. AJ is going to go first. All that I am and all that I have, I offer to you, Lyra Joe Danny, in love and joy. I, AJ, take you, Lyra, to be my wife. I will love and honor you, stand by you, Take your side and walk with you wherever the Lord may lead us. I give myself to you freely, holding nothing back, promising you my love, trust, honor, and devotion. I will be your best friend, your sanctuary, your home, 
father of my children. I promise to be faithful and true from this day forward. In the grace and knowledge that you are a blessed gift from God. I will love and cherish you every day of my life. These vows are to be sealed by the giving and the receiving of rings. The ring is a circle, a symbol of eternity, and the gold symbolizes the preciousness, the enduring quality of the vows that you have taken today. AJ, place your ring on your bride's finger and repeat these words. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge to you. To you. All that I have, all that I have, and all that I am, all that I am. Lyra, placing your ring on your bridegroom's finger, repeat these words. With this ring, I pledge to you all that I have and all that I am. As they wed, the couple has chosen to observe Holy Communion, a remembrance of and participation in the body and the blood of Christ, which he gave on the cross for us. And as they do it, uh, there will be a uh, music provided by Travis and Julie.
join with me as we ask God's blessings on this new couple. Eternal Father, Redeemer, we now turn to you, and as the first act of this couple in their newly formed union, we ask you to protect their home. May they always turn to you for guidance, for strength, for provision, and for direction. May their lives and their life, of, their life together always glorify you. Use them to draw others to yourself and let them stand as a testimony to the world of your faithfulness. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. A.J. and Lyra, having heard your vows exchanged in the presence of God and these witnesses by the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. A.J. Moore. you're all invited to the reception that will be in the tents just at the top of the uh, the hill here uh, my understanding is that the wedding party and also the immediate families of the bride and groom need to meet just on the other side of the tents for a few photographs once we're dismissed and at this time we are all dismissed This is the occurred the land where the wedding was took place. What a view in Kirtland, Idaho. Yes. Brother of the groom. Oh my goodness. Sister-in-law. How about that? We wish you the best. That's right. All right. Thanks. Having a good time? Oh yeah. How about yourself? Oh yeah. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. First time to Idaho. Oh really? Yeah. Exactly. Now this is the special wedding party.
right, there's something about you individually that makes you both brilliant and amazing. When you're apart, you shine and show the world your uniqueness, but together you show love that makes the world smile back. I don't think there's one person here that can say that you're not perfect for each other. Not one person. And AJ? <laughs> AJ, you've been the big brother that's shown you just let loose and have fun. And you just sort of, has shown our whole family family, and just sort of, you know, shower heads roll, roll with it, be <laughs> cool. So, yeah, you open us up and make us have fun. And Lyra, ever since I was little, such a joy and a privilege to have you here to celebrate with all of us and uh, actually on the same uh, note speaking of geography it's such a privilege for the Moors to get together with the Danleys because all us West Coasters everybody on the East Coast knows that nobody on the West Coast really has a big grasp on geography over there on the East Coast so thanks to AJ he's gonna bring over all the geography he's learned um, from Lyra to the to the rest of us uh, Moors and the, the rest of the families from a geography perspective so thank you uh, Dan Lee's for imparting that upon my uh, brother yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> Connecticut and all these places, Texas, and all these small states on the East Coast. Anyway. Connecticut is, though, and so is Boston. They just been to Boston. Half the people here can't point to Boston on a map. So thank you to their family. Okay, anyway. Uh, I think I can speak for all of us when I say that um, from day one, AJ, we, the rest of us knew that AJ had found his uh, lifelong companion. Um, when, when he spoke about Lyra, his whole entire face would light up with stories and um, ideas that they had come up with together, um, adventures that they had been on together. And so that's been one of the neatest things to be part of this marriage um, from, from the beginning, is to see how they've united and how we knew from day one they were perfect for each other. Um, you know, it's, it's funny how two people from two different parts of the country, uh, you can kind of tell that they were really made for each other. Um, the adventures, as you see all these uh, pictures on your tables, they've been a lot of places, done a lot of things, and there's many more stories to come, so stay tuned. Um, these two have a wild sense of adventure, and um, I have no doubt that that's going to take them a lot of places and um, provide some great stories and something that we can all glean from. Um, you guys are perfect for each other. Age is a great husband. He's going to be all ready to see him today, serving his wife and loving her. It's just a joy to be a part of. I'm sure you guys can um, speak to that as well, just seeing them on their first day together. The way she loves AJ and supports AJ, it's just neat to 
to be a part of their, their first day together. And so I would encourage each of you to um, be in touch with them over the next year and the many, many years to come to just hear what's going on in their lives, <coughs> what latest adventures they've had, and, and how their marriage is going. Um, we wish all, on behalf of the, the entire crowd here, we want to wish you the best for the coming years, Arizona, wherever you end up. <laughs> That's just part of the act, I know I get it. It's working. <laughs> we wish the best for you guys, wherever you end up. Um, we're excited for you. And, um... This wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> if you can raise your glasses with me to toast our young, uh, I don't know. It's not the wine. <laughs> it's the nerves. I don't know why. <laughs> raise your glasses without spilling. <laughs> and uh, toast with me to, to AJ and Lear and to the first of many days of happiness. Yeah. 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 And now they're cutting of the cake. <laughs> Everyone's favorite part. Woo! Thank you. Nice job.
Yeah, congratulations to AJ and Lyra. This next song is a special one for Lyra with her dad. And I'd like to invite everyone to join them.
Mike gonna see this? Yep. Mike, we wish you were here, but we're gonna see you soon. Love you, man, and be safe. Take care. A cookie. Doesn't she look beautiful? Oh, she, she looks beautiful. She's doing a pinch. In person. <laughs> it was so nice to talk to you, Mike, today on the phone. I learned it from Zimmer going to like go run here. <laughs> 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 a little rabbit. Rabbit. Hey there, brother. And next up for your musical enjoyment, the uh, father of the bride, Ken Danley, has composed just for this occasion a, uh, a special song that really speaks to uh, to the moment. And you're here for the uh, the world debut of uh, of this particular song. So Ken's going to take it away. Okay. Uh... You know that song from Disney? Hi ho, hi ho. Hi ho, hi ho. That one? Exactly, yep. yeah. Okay. You ever think about what the verses are? You ever... It's off to work we go. Well, that's the chorus part. Oh. So nobody's ever heard what the verses are, so I made them up. Ah. <laughs> He was six foot one, she a little one. He kissed her neath the Pacific sun. Then he said, will you? And she said, I will wed you, wed you in Idaho. My toe, my toe, and then you whistle. I can't whistle right now. But. I ho, I ho. Now, AJ was from Washington. She was Yankee born, now West Texan To tie the knot, where shall we go? So our family's not spread to and fro I know, let's wed in Idaho I know, let's wed in Idaho Hey ho, hi ho Who could stand by AJ's side And who'd adorn the lovely bride? Tom and Katie's booked Paris is hooked, so to their family and friends they looked, saying, Who needs stars with looks like ours? Hi ho, let's wed in Idaho. Hi ho, let's wed in Idaho with AJ's honks and Lyra's hunts. Hi ho, hi ho. So they 
planned a picture perfect spot in Coeur d'Alene where it's never hot. Sometimes <laughs> it rains at Coeur d'Alene, so more than one prayed for the sun to shine, to shine, to shine in Idaho. Idaho. That's where in Idaho with AJ's hunks and Lyra's huns. Where we can bake beside the lake, I hope. Okay, where we go. All right, ready, next verse. Before the day we had to play at Stan and Jane's beside the bay. We'll drink some cores and toast some more. I hope. the lake. We'll drink some cores and toast some more. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Well, now my story's nearly told. Wedding memories growing cold. They've said their vows. They're married now. Hi ho, they wed in Idaho. <laughs> Another verse, another verse. <laughs> Last verse. <laughs> Aloha to the bride and groom. Congrats to families in the room. God bless you, Lyra and AJ. It's time to make some babies and bring them back to Coeur d'Alene where we can party once again. Hi ho! Anyway, all the best to you guys. Just talking on the I'm, I'm I'm talking on the now, yeah, for the same. Many happy Many happy years. Many happy years. Hopefully we get to 70 of them. Of course, absolutely. Yep. Well, it's good to we see you. We missed you guys and it would have been nice to have you guys here, but understandable, you guys aren't close. And Uncle so. Richard represented well. <laughs> Uncle Richard really did get the yeah. party going. I made a fool of myself last night, Mike and Pat, so, you know. We love it. We love it. We're raving about it. So, bon wherever you're going, bon voyage. Aloha. Aloha. Happy travels, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Don't move. Nice. You make a great tripod. <laughs> Is that oh, what he was doing? <laughs> and we are, we are going, we are fading to black, and a final kiss to fade. I'm sorry. Ooh. Get it? <laughs> no, you gotta hold it on there. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we can go out.
like the closest to my hand. It'll stop. That's not making me happy. Just stop, just right. stop, just stop. There you go. We like that. Okay, Dad, take it, take it, Dad. Finally, off my and they're off. Yeah. That's why you ordered it. 